Hey guys, it's Amir with Amir and Alex. Uh, welcome to another edition of I'm Glad You Asked. Today we're going to be talking about buyers and what they should do in light of the market this year. Uh, so a commonly asked question we get from buyers is what should I do? Um, you know, I'm looking to get into the market. Uh, I don't know whether I should buy, wait, or simply not do anything at all. Um, so the first thing that you should know is we want to know what your profile is. Are you an end user? Are you looking to upsize or downsize? Or are you an investor? Because that'll largely uh, dictate how we're going to look at everything. As an investor, you're clearly living your life in a spreadsheet. Um, as an end user, you're probably looking at it as a hybrid. Is it a good investment? And will it also improve my lifestyle and achieve what I'm looking to do? Um, the We'll just get to the straight point and I'll tell you why. Um, and you're welcome to just simply read the post and understand a little bit more background. Um, you should be buying in this market. If it were me and I'm looking to purchase, I would definitely purchase in this market. I actually purchased earlier this year, um, but I would purchase again if I had the opportunity, which I don't at the moment. Uh, why? Because there's a lot more inventory in the market right now, and uh, a lot of people who would have loved to have the opportunity in January and March to purchase something, but the comp competition made it so difficult, uh, are now kind of having a wait and see attitude and have very easily forgotten about what happened then. You have a lot more inventory available to you. What might have sold back then for 1.3 is now selling for 1.2. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's been this drastic price drop um, because the price increase January to March of this year shouldn't have been 300,000 on something that might have been worth a million last year. It should have really been maybe 100,000, maybe even slightly less, maybe slightly more. But it increased a lot and then it came down and made it more balanced. So maybe something that was 1.3 January to March of this year is only like 1.15 to 1.2 right now. This presents a very good opportunity for buyers who otherwise thought they might be priced out. Um, so in short, our advice is if you know what your initiatives are, if you know why you're looking to make the purchase, then get out there and buy. Um, in the housing market, the price dip relative to this year is more pronounced. Uh, in the condo market, we haven't seen as much of a hit. The prices are not climbing as quickly, but they are still um, at an all-time high, especially looking at the last five years. And they've become more attractive by virtue of the fact that the condo market is far cheaper than the housing market. And for those of us who can't afford to purchase a home, the condo becomes the next best alternative. Um, one last thing, what if percentages go up and what if prices come down, what should I do? First of all, we've seen a, a, a change this year, so you know what prices are today relative to what they were beginning of the year. If it makes sense for you, then you should get in the market, and if the numbers work for you as an investor, then you should get in the market. Numbers don't lie. If percentages go up, well, they will. They have already, and they will again probably late October. Um, at the end of the day, you should always be qualifying yourself so that you can uh, weather the storm in the worst of times. So don't ever put the best numbers that favor your scenario. Put the worst numbers, and if the math works then, then go for it. But the bottom line is, lots more inventory available to you. What was once unattainable may now be attainable. You should get out there because just the same way people couldn't predict what was going to happen uh, this year at the beginning of the year, people will not be able to decisively tell you what's going to happen beginning of 2018 and moving forward into the year. So if the circumstances are right for you and if the opportunity presents itself, jump on it. Waiting is not going to do anything other than simply... Uh, maybe make you miss an opportunity you otherwise could have captured. We hope this is helpful. Feel free to reach out, comment, and we'll be happy to answer your questions in our continued segment. I'm glad you asked.